Hey guys, welcome back. Now I love to have small bites of food packed with lots of flavor and lots of energy. And this recipe I'm going to show you now is a very simple one. It's got one of my favorites. It's got salted caramel, it's got nuts and it's got banana and coconut, which again, you know, these are flavors which always warm and make you feel nice. I'm going to show you how to make this very simple and a quick dish now. You're going to first start by making the caramel for the truffle and for that I'm going to use grain sugar. So normal white sugar. Now when you're actually making a, a caramel, never really stir the sugar. When you put the sugar into your pan and start warming it up, uh, make sure the heat is not too intense. Just on a medium heat, start lightly cooking the sugar. And never use a spoon or a spatula and start stirring it. It will not caramelize well. Let it melt on its own with the heat of the pan. So you need to have a pan which is like a heavy bottom pan, which retains the heat. And that breaks down the sugar very gently. And once the sugar breaks down and melts, it will caramelize, you'll get a very even caramel. Now, people love to have a caramel with lots of things, you know, caramel with dry fruits, caramel with a, a bit of uh, salt in them, it really works. So I'm going to use all these together. I'm going to caramelize sugar. I'm going to add a little butter into it. So when you add butter into the caramel, it gives it like a buttery caramel scotch kind of a flavor. And when you add nuts into it, it gives a kind of a toasty, nutty flavor to it. And then what I also love to do is actually add a little sea salt. So you can use uh, flakes of sea salt. You can also use uh, uh, Himalayan salt, even that works well. So add the salt to the caramel with some nuts. It really works well. In this recipe, I'm also going to use uh, banana. So the banana gives it a kind of a very nice um, uh, flavor to the caramel, which is then used to make the truffles. Now talking of bananas, I've got a banana here, which is over ripened. And that is exactly what you need. You know, we always have bananas sometime at home and we don't really consume them. They're lying outside and this color, they don't look nice. But all the goodness is still intact. Uh, because they're overripe, they're also quite sweet and very intense in flavor. So always try and use overripe bananas for the truffle. It works best. Just like when you do banana bread, for example, you try and use the overripe bananas again. The same principle we use here to make our truffles. You can see as the sugar begins to melt, it starts to get slightly golden in color, but there's still some pockets of sugar which are not really melted. So you swirl the pan around, and with the heat of the caramel, you want to mix it all together and get a very kind of a melted sugar and an even caramel color. Sugar is all caramelized. In this, I'm going to now add my pecan nuts. You don't need to roast them. There's enough heat in the caramel to really lightly toast your pecan nuts. And at this stage, I can now move the pecan nuts in the caramel and coat them very gently. Add some butter. And after adding the butter, I'm going to now add the banana into it. So you can see the banana is nice and overripe. Then all I do is just slice it up and into the caramel. So what this does is basically the banana is now going to cook into the caramel along with the pecan nuts and get mashed up with the heat. And also the banana will release its sugars. Now because the banana was at room temperature and the caramel was warm, it begins to cling together or come together, which is perfectly okay. We're going to cook the bananas along with the caramel. And as soon as the heat picks up on the pan, the caramel begins to melt and release its colors into the pan and its flavors. So you can see that with the spoon, lightly break up the bananas. You want to mash it. And while that is being done, in this, I'm now going to add some sea salt. A generous pinch of sea salt. It gives a very nice kind of a salty, caramel, nutty flavor to the truffle. There. Again, break down the bananas into smaller pieces. 
will literally mash it up. Oh, the aroma of the caramel and the banana and the nuts is so nice. Put the back of the spoon. Try and mash the banana as much as you can. You will find that the sugar is still a bit lumpy, which is perfectly okay, or some of the sugar gets stuck on the sides of the pan, which is perfectly okay. When I add the liquid into this, it will all melt together and form like a nice thick kind of a sauce. Where we are almost ready. The bananas are really broken down and almost mashed up. At this stage now, I am going to add some cream. Thick cream. And what the cream does is basically it uh, melts down the sugar all together and you get like a thick kind of a banana and a caramel sauce, which is going to be the base to make our truffles. You can see the color? It's got a lovely rich kind of a caramel tan color. The caramel has really reduced down, the liquid has almost evaporated and what you have is like a kind of a fudge consistency. So it's nice and rich and thick. The aromas are very, very nice. Uh, it's got all the banana, it's got the caramel flavors coming through very nicely, nicely being cooked. I'm quite pleased with that. A little clean up on my side. And next thing is the desiccated coconut. I'm just waiting for it to get slightly thicker. As you can see, it has left the sides. It's got the rich tan or a rich caramel color to it. And the sugar has all melted off into the cream. And the cream has almost evaporated. Look at that. That's what you want. You want it to be like a nice thick gooey. All the banana has melted. It releases natural sugars and added its flavors into the sauce. At this stage, all I do now is I switch off my heat of the pan and let it stay in the pan itself and then add in desiccated coconut. Desiccated coconut is actually very dry, so it binds uh, the caramel sauce together. And what you will get is something like a dough-shaped mixture. So I'm going to mix it together and you can see, as you mix it together, it begins to stick. It all comes together. Look at that. But because it is warm, it is still quite uh, moist and a bit runny. But once this dries out, it holds shape quite well. And because it holds shape quite well, I can then shape it into a round truffles, a round ball. I mean, this is literally like full of goodness, like a real energy bar. If you want to add lots of dry fruits, pistachios, walnuts, almonds, pine nuts, whatever you want, uh, some chopped dates into them, even that would work well. So it literally becomes like a protein ball, if you like to have that. There we are, look at that. I'm going to add a little more coconut. mix it together there we are this is now set and as you can see it holds shape quite well look at that see that it's holding shape quite well I'm going to let that rest for approximately four or five minutes for the mixture to cool down so it's easy for me to then handle and then shape it into truffles the mixture has now cooled down, a little taste. Oh, nice. Mm. The nut flavors, the coconut, the caramel, the sea salt, it's very nice. And the best part is um, it's not overly sweet. It's just about right. Now talking of truffles, now truffles basically are round shape and they're mostly made with chocolate, but they're not then that's chocolate and cream with any flavoring and rolled into cocoa powder is like a simple truffle. But there are many variations. Now this is again a simple variation of a truffle without really using chocolate. So the shape is very important, you do it into round. 
although I'm doing a round shape, there's nothing stopping you from making it into a barrel shape or into a square shape or into a mold and shaping it up. The choice is entirely yours. This is a very simple one. It's just plain simply round. Now again, in my home, we all love to eat sweets, but not only sweet. And we like to make it into small bite size or small pieces here. So when we have a sweet craving, instead of having a big bowl of that thing, we put small pieces and we have that with some tea or a coffee and it really works well. So it's a perfect remedy for a sugar craving. So again, shape it into a ball. And see that it takes shape so easily. That's what you get. I'm going to make them into small balls and put them into the coconut. And all you do is you lightly dust them with desiccated coconut. And that is what they will look like. So this is a very simple but very delicious coconut, banana, salted caramel and a pecan nut truffle. I'm going to make more and then have it already assembled. So these are all shaped up and I'm lightly tossing them in desiccated coconut and you see they just begin to coat them very gently. These are now ready to be served and all you do is assemble them onto a plate and literally indulge and enjoy. Very simple, very easy, very quick to do but most importantly full of flavour. Time for me to have a little bite, which I will right now. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Salted caramel, pecan nut, banana and coconut. What could go wrong with that? Absolutely divine. Make sure you guys try it at home, make it for your friends and family and don't forget to tag me. So until next time, happy cooking.